On the early morning of March the 24th, 1945, NA-337 successfully ditched after being hit by flak in Lake Miosa in Norway. In 1995, the Halifax Aircraft Association uh, decided to raise a Halifax from Lake Miosa in Norway to perpetuate the history of those who flew and those who died for the cause of freedom for Canada. The Halifax bomber was an, a very important part of the bombing effort, uh, effort to win World War II. The Halifax flew approximately 70,000 missions in Bomber Command, and the Canadians flew approximately 40,000 of those missions over enemy territory. When the aircraft arrived at Trenton, we realized we needed a team of volunteers to do the restoration work, and we were fortunate in finding the, uh, the services of Bill Titula, who volunteered to head up the project. The project was supported financially by the over 5,000 members of the Halifax Aircraft Association. In 1995, the RCAF Museum acquired a Halifax bomber. It, unfortunately, it needed a little bit of work. I'd offered to help. Ken Key, the director, said, I don't need help. I need someone to do it. Well, I put a team together. We called it the Triple E. We had the energy. We had the excitement, we had the enthusiasm, and we're here today looking at a proud, proud airplane. The Halifax aircraft manufactured by Handley Page was a very versatile aircraft, not only used for bombing, but also used for other uh, special duties and towing of gliders. In 1944, I was 22 years old, and I was a member of 424 RCAF squadron and six bomber group and I flew 33 operations over uh, France, Germany, and uh, Norway and Denmark. We strive to make 2PX the most authentic, the most technically correct Halifax in existence today. Approximately 75% of the material is original. The batteries, for example, had been underwater for over 50 years. We restored them, we recharged them, we connected them to an existing engine, and it turned. As Canada's National Air Force Museum, we are very proud of having the capability of showing to Canadians our large collection of artifacts that are presently on display. These include 25 aircraft in our air park, and of course, the magnificent restoration of our World War II Halifax bomber the showpiece of our museum. In our restoration workshop, a number of aircraft are being restored to their original condition by many volunteers. We have over 20 aircraft on display, as well as over 9,000 Ad Astra stones, purchased by a number of men and women of the Air Force over the years. Inside the museum, over 4,000 artifacts are on display describing the 100-year history of our Air Force. We are very proud to be Canada's National Museum, the largest Air Force Museum in Canada. Lloyd, do you remember 1995, Carol Karsgaard saying that this is the greatest treasure Canada will ever have? I remember Carl as he was walking down to the beach there and he saw that aircraft in the water. I remember him saying that. And uh, not only is it the greatest treasure that Canada will ever have, but it is also a memorial to the 9,919 uh, Canadian Air Force aircrew who uh, lost their lives in the Second World War while flying with Bomber Command. And not only that, it is a tribute to the RAF crew who flew this aircraft on its last operation in 1945, and they died in Lake Myosa. This aircraft was built in 1945, it died in 1945, and like the Phoenix has arisen again to be reborn, not restored, to be reborn. In April 2000, the National Air Force Museum of Canada launched its expansion and redesign project. 
a 10-year, $7.8 million initiative to redesign, expand, and rejuvenate our interior space and all of our exhibits and displays. Through the ongoing efforts of the museum's campaign committee and numerous volunteers, we have achieved 50% of this financial target. At present, our campaign committee is seeking the support of donors across Canada to raise the remaining $3.9 million in funding needed to complete the final phases of the project. It is our sincere hope that you or your organization can be among the 2,758 individuals, foundations, and corporations who have contributed to the project so far.